Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, New Jersey announced the 2021 incentive for purchasing or leasing a, electric, a new electric vehicle. Uh, this pro just want to give everyone a quick review of the program. I participated in last year's program uh, and to purchase my uh, Tesla Model Y and receive the five thousand uh, dollars in rebate. Hopefully, this can help anyone who lives in New Jersey and is interested in purchasing an electric vehicle. Here's another way to save your money. The way to look at this year, the process is much easier. Uh, this is the website you can see. It's chargeup.njcleanenergy.com. You can receive an uh, incentive up to $5,000. Uh, but th there's a detail. The way I see it, it's less generous than, than last year. And let's see how it works. So the formula is pretty straightforward. It's all electric uh, mileage times $25. So every mile is worth $25. And then that equals total incentive with asterisk. So there's uh, here's all the details behind it. Um, f first of all, it's up to $5,000 only. So no matter what, uh, you can never receive more than $5,000, which means it, as long as your electric vehicle is more more than 20, uh, 200 uh, miles in EPA rating, it makes no difference in terms of the incentive. And then there's uh, eligible vehicle. Uh, then we're going to look at that later. The incentive is, how is that determined in the footnote is, it will, it's up to $5,000 for vehicle with manufacturer suggested retail price under $45,000. So this is different from last year. Last year was under $55,000. This year is, is up to $5,000 for price under $45,000. If it's above $45,000 but under $55,000, the incentive dropped to two thousand dollars. That's why I'm saying this year's incentive is less generous than last year. And what's better than last year is this. Uh, if you look at uh, the top, is the incentive can be applied instantly to the purchase or lease at the point of sale. This is better than last year in terms of procedure. Last year, I I have to. Uh, apply for it and upload all the documents and get a check in the mail uh, in a, about a month. So uh, that's that's improvement in terms of process, but in terms of incentive is less generous. Uh, look at the eligible vehicle. Uh, it, it covers actually both electric vehicle and the plug-in uh, plug hybrid. So the start was a battery uh, electric vehicle, BMW. There's i3, Chevy Bolt, uh, Ford Mustang Mark E. Uh, Mark E, this is a popular one. Honda uh, Ionic, that's another popular one. Uh, Kia Nero Mini Cooper SE Nissan Leaf, there are two versions. Uh, the battery size is either 40K kilowatt hour or 62 kilowatt hour. Tesla Model 3, can, uh, the rebate, uh, that's, just look at that, it's $2,000 to $5,000 depending on the, the starting price. For Model Y, there's nothing below $45,000, uh, so the rebate is only up to $2,000. And you've got to be very careful for Tesla Model Y. Tesla Model Y price has increased uh, five times this year so far. It, it cost more this year than uh, what I purchased the last time uh, in 2020. There's a Volkswagen ID4. This is one of the best or highly rated uh, uh, best value uh, EV. If, if you're interested, this is a potential one to get. There's also plug-in hybrid uh, EV or FEV. There's BMW 330e. Uh, the, the rebate is much smaller, Chrysler Pacifica, Ford Escape, Ford Fusion, Honda Clarity, Jeep Wrangler, etc., Mini Cooper, Mitsubishi Outlander. A uh, popular one will be Toyota Rev4 Prime. There's a rebate up to $1,050. Uh, 
uh, for these plug-in hybrid, most of the price is generally under forty-five thousand. So you can uh, the formula is all determined by that twenty-five dollars times the elect uh, electric miles because most of the plug-in hybrid has pretty low range, as you can see here. For the Escape, it's only thirty-seven miles and then the times $25. It's not a lot. It's $925, but it's something uh, additional uh, savings you can get that can help you uh, to uh, get a better vehicle. And for uh, Tesla Model 3, um, you can look at the website, see what you can pick. Uh, if uh, when you look at the Tesla, make sure you select the purchase price, not the potential savings. That's factoring the uh, the gasoline savings. The purchase price uh, is what's driving the rebate. Uh, the smallest, uh, the least expensive one is standard range plus thirty nine thousand nine hundred ninety dollars. Uh, if you choose nothing, of course, it's eligible for the for the rebate up to, uh, uh, at $5,000. And if you select this one, you can actually pick few updates. But once you select the long range, uh, then your your rebate is, uh, is dropped to up to $2,000. And if you select performance, it's no longer eligible for rebate. So this rebate is um, more incented towards the low end uh, electric vehicles. Uh, this is the, the details. And if you select standard range plus, you can get a couple upgrade upgrade. The the red paint is the most expensive one, uh, adding two thousand dollars. The wheel you can add another one thousand five hundred dollars. Uh altogether, never add the full self-driving capability. You can do that later. Uh then that's it. Uh, what's the total? Where is it? Continue to payment. Yeah, it's forty-three thousand four hundred ninety dollars. So you're pushing close to that forty-five thousand limit. Uh, this is it. Uh, it's a quick update for uh, for the New, uh, New Jersey incentive. I I got the email from uh, from the state of New Jersey. So uh, hopefully this can help you. Uh, to save some money. And if you like my video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll bring more videos update in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye.